I think everything's up, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and start the stream. Hello everybody, my name is Awakened Cloud, you can call me Awakened, you can call me Cloud, you can call me whatever to be honest. And we are starting a new game today, this is a hat in time. It's, let's see, I'd like to say it came out roughly 2015, 2016, maybe a little bit. Mm, 2016 sounds about right for this game. Came out a while ago, it's a platformer. I'm not exactly sure what type of platformer, but I've had my eye on it for a while and I really wanted to try it out, so we're just gonna give it a shot. And without further ado, I'm gonna create a new file. Yes. Interesting. She kind of looks like a me. At a desk, doing nothing. Oh, I'll say the closet. You only really wear one outfit, so there's lots of room for skeletons. Got a dash. That's cool. Camera is really close to this character. That was pretty cool. How many games have you seen where you can just dive into a giant? Yes, those are pillows. Pillow pit. Anyway. Got a lock on mechanic.
Creator DLC. Don't know how to break those now, but I'm pretty sure they're breakable. I've got a Roomba. Can I jump on the Roomba? Cool. Got an achievement for that. Nope. Can't go up the slide. Got a video room. Don't know what that is. You use it to punish food that's been bad. Okay. So my goal is to get home. Why? This dude looks like Nappa from Dragon Ball. What is this? Flying boat? All boats need to pay toll in Mafia Town. Even in space. Mafia come in to collect. Oh, Ooh. That seems problematic. So they definitely could have animated the character a little bit more. Chapter 1, Mafia Town. Act 1, Welcome to Mafia Town. Okay. I wonder if this is open world, or is it stage based? one another. I mean, Mafia Town can be a really dangerous place. So what'd you say? Wanna join my little rebellion? After you called me a stalker, I'm not so sure. Oh, by the way, did you have anything to do with the junk falling from the sky? Yeah? Yikes. Looks like you've got a lot of cleaning up to do, huh? Tell you what, come up here and I can show you where some of your junk landed. 
big button behind me. I like big buttons. Cannot lie. Hey, I think one of your junk pieces fell and smashed right into the market's fountain. Messed it up real good. When going over there, just avoid making eye contact with the mafia and you'll be fine. See ya! So, definitely appears like there's a stealth element, at least to this specific part of the, part of the game. I don't know where she went. Now, I can't do the. Yes, I can. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the mafia. <laughs> okay. So, this might not be instantly apparent to a lot of people, but this is very clearly inspired by Mario Galaxy. Just some of the stuff, like even when we were in the space station, I could tell. But she even does the whole spinny shine, not shine, but star get, whatever it was in Galaxy. Power has been restored in the main hall. The chapter Mafia Town is now available. So, I'm wondering if that perspiration thing, well, perspiration is like me sweating. I wonder if that's like difficulty of the mission. Because like, it's being used as described precipitation, which is a completely different thing, which is the likelihood of rain at a given time. What does it matter? Anyway, we're going to do Act 2 first. Interesting wall run. side of town. I guess if I need to beat him up, I can do it. It's not like I don't have a weapon at this point. Yup. Ooh, 
Brewing yarn. Cook up mad concoctions. It requires four yarn to stitch. Interesting. You know what? He's not bothering anybody. That's a lot of TNT. Hey, child, shoo! Mafia can't have child witness when Mafia teaching lesson. <laughs> huh? This awkward for Mafia. Mafia not sure what to do. Boss, what do we do with eyewitness? Teach her lesson, boys. So the combat definitely leaves a lot to be desired, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Press X in midair to kill me, though. Ouch. I was pressing X in midair. What? That's a we. Does it just have a lot of? I don't understand. Does it have to be at the peak of the jump? Enough. Mafia won't bow to little girl. Prepare to feel Mafia's wrath. Um. Watch out for. That is not dangerous. Do not think about avoiding perils. Stand still. Oh, let me go ahead and light this up. See if girl can handle this barrel. Mafia need to take care of this Mafia style. Prepare to feel what Mafia do to old ladies. Okay. Child is two out of God knows how many. Can you believe them? What a bunch of losers. Hey, you're all right, new kid. Do you have a name? No? You shy? That's cool. You're a less talk, more fighting kind of girl, I take it. That you grab there. Are you collecting them? Because I know Ooh. where there's more of them. They've you been raining more? from the sky ever since you arrived. I've seen the goons bring them to their headquarters way up there. <gasps> we should go up there and get your junk. It'll be fun. I'll take any opportunity that involves messing up the mafia. You with me, buddy? Good. <laughs> Mustache girl. Friends. Definitely doesn't feel like a game that should have this much loading, but it is what it is. Are you ready to take down some mafia? Let's do it! I'm psyched! Let's go over the plan. All assaults need a good plan, or it'll be a flop! 
Okay. First we strangle them, choke them, and oh, watch wow. them for mercy. That'll show them. Okay. No, wait, strangling is too kind. We smash them together into mush and put their remains in a jar. Then we sell the jar for pocket money. That'll be the ultimate salt in the wound. <laughs> But first, we have to uh, make it through the Mafia HQ. Once we find and dethrone the Mafia boss, the rest will follow. Then our Mercian Jar Party will be no problem. I wonder what the ESRB rating for this game is, because that joke alone kind of makes it a T, at least. We've got to get you geared up. Your hat is basic. And we don't do basic in this game. Yarn can be found around Mafia Town and used to stitch new hats if you're crafty. Okay. Already got a little bit of yarn. For you. Okay, that's two. I need four. You've got enough yarn to stitch. Oh, snap. Nice. This hat is looking ready to sprint. Hold L to sprint. Okay. You need more yarn for some hats than others. I guess being creative isn't free. So keep an eye out for yarn. Now you're a killing machine. Let's go get them. That's kind of cool. Alright, guess I gotta mess with the Mafia a little bit more. How do I do the lock-on thing again? I thought it was left trigger. Now you're a killing machine! Let's go get- Came from outer space. It's kind of interesting that every single mission seems to have its own storyline. That's a lot of work to do, actually. Wow, rude. Oh, my other hat finds goals. That's why I couldn't figure it out before. Okay. I need some other hat to probably butt stomp or stump something. Shows high interest in bloodline. Well, that sucks. Other hat. I go this way. I suck at this game.
So there are a lot of these little orbs around here. There's no way in the world I'm actually going to collect them all. In fact, there's so many I'm almost willing to bet that they respawn. Um, if you exit the mission. Mafia's a spaceship! Mafia knew all along! Mafia is being invaded by aliens! Ah! All of that for me falling in mud. Oh crap. He's giving me the... Oh, RT in the air to jump further. Okay. Double jump. There we go. Oh, am I supposed to get up there? I'm just not in gamer mode today. All this obvious stuff I'm just missing. That's not right. He just stopped in a place that made it impossible for me to actually make that jump. Down, walk away slowly. Let's go back to Mafia Town. Down with the Mafia. Is this a boss? Already?
Might need a new ability to um, get through that door, maybe. If small child get gambling problem, it's her own fault. His roulette tables purely for looks. No gambling here. Curious if the cans would actually interact with me. The answer to that is yes, they do. Should leave this no place for little girl. Most place is not for child, but especially here. If hey, who's this person that's just glitching Hi, out? Young one, I am from a far away land. I've I don't seen like every this. corner of the earth, and now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. You may call me the badge seller, for I sell and trade badges. I can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades to your hat. If you have money, of course. I need to equip one more badge. Automatically attract nearby collectibles. Automatically pull out your umbrella before deadly impact. I have 138. I think I'm gonna go for the first two. Oh crap. I just realized. That's a badge, so it's something I have to equip. Which isn't the worst thing, because I'm about to get this. Sure, you can deal with it. You look like tenacious type, not leave problem alone. Other little girl run into kitchen. If you are looking for, she look like unruly type. Keep eye on her. So we need to go into the kitchen. The theater. Where would the kitchen be? I gotta put my laundry into the dryer real quick, and I'm also gonna get something to drink. BRB.
Okay. Sorry about that. Go ahead, kid. Open this thing up and I'll keep guard here. Uh, okay. I guess I need a key. Oops. So I have to get up there. Now the million dollar question is how do I do that? Someone would die if they ate the mafia prepared food. Mm. The mafia are terrible. I prepare the unfairly. Little confused as to what they want me to do here. to somebody? Hmm. Well, I can't exit. Whatever it is I'm supposed to do, I'm going to feel really dumb. There, but there's nothing up there. Mm. I figure out if there's any like objective marker or list. But I need a key, obviously. Watch it be somewhere in here. Something I'm not doing or seeing. Oh, duh, 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 duh. 
I completely forgot about that key. Now I have to go back up here, get a bucket. I am just not on my A-game tonight. Here. Put it down right here. Easy. Super easy. I completely forgot that room existed. Is the king of the mafia a chef? Camera. I wonder if there's a way to pull the camera back a little bit. That seems like it would be... Almost vital. Um, go far. That feels much better. So, it is you! Ever since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with these magical hourglasses. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. You're in the heart of our town, standing before the most powerful man you will ever witness. <laughs> Everything you've ever owned belongs to me now, including this hourglass piece. If you want it, we'll have to settle it in true Mafia style. Right! Action! It is... Oh... Okay. This is starting to take me off of this oh, this jump mechanic thing. I can't! Also, the one Mafia dude in the background is a tree. Mad props. Stand right here. The
He got me once. Mafia Town, I think we're done here, at least for now. Friends. to before I met you. Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. You have all this power, and you're not gonna use it to fight evil? If you're not gonna use them to fight evil, then I will. Uh-oh. Do I have a... Like, budding rivalry right here? I'm not gonna let this island remain as Mafia Town! I'll collect all the timepieces for myself! You have my word on it! She didn't jack my... Okay, she had... She pickpocketed half of my little gym things. <laughs> Enemies. Interesting. I did not see that coming. Regular hat. Here we go. Battle of the Birds is now available. Dead Bird Studio. Battle of the Birds. Find out where the timepieces went. Top review, two and a half stars. Actors all terrible. Legal status, totally not allowed in. This 
movie studio is too big for the both of us, DJ. Grooves. The movie should be made by real birds. You moon penguins are just gonna write some loud What type of bird are you, dude? <laughs> nonsense, darling. Nonsense. You Owl Express birds are just going to record another boring train That's related now? western. You've done so for the last 10 years, darling. What? No, we haven't, your buffoon. Conduct. For some reason, it skipped um, past that last <laughs> line, I guess. Huh? You want that movie prop they carried in? Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? Uh, hi there. I'm an express owl, which really just means I ride the Owl Express that the conductor runs. I need to ride the train to get to work, but the conductor makes unexpected stops all the time. I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. I don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and a disco guy want to compete? Asking all, all the hard-hitting right? questions. Shouldn't we cooperate? I don't know. I guess cooperating is kind of stupid. I guess. Yeah. Just ignore me. Not everything I sell is of value. I also sell terrible badges. And yet, people buy them anyway. Automatically pull out your umbrella before a deadly impact. Hold and release X for a beam attack. Plug your ears. Now you can only hear vague mumbling. Oh, that's pretty funny. Bye. It's like an N64 style thing. Well, it was too tempting to not do. expect for this game to have as many stealth elements as it does. Assault on Cactus. Get this yarn. Over there, let's see if we can get to it. I feel like I should have definitely been able to get over there that other ball of yarn, but I wasn't really thinking at the time.
relic. What is that? It, is it half of a burger? This unknown, this unknown relic might match with others. Okay. I got half of a burger, the bottom half to be specific. Thank you for the lurk, PBJ. Guess I overjumped it. I tried to jump on his head. Did not go as planned. Okay. Keep making dumb mistakes in this very not difficult platform. jump in there because there was a chest but started wall running on the freaking wall above the little um, area I was trying to get into Is there a glass wall there hmm I might have to come in from a different angle There can't be. No. Yeah, there totally is. Spaceships or machine to go and cute rewards. Okay. No. I really thought I was jumping over his head, but apparently not. Yeah. 
I don't understand how you're supposed to wall run in this game. It's different. It's very different. Because I can't just jump, 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 jump. Am I dead? Because you can clearly get up there. They wouldn't have the orbs there if you couldn't. We tried jumping on his head, I guess. Oh, too late for that. Uh oh. I just need to use a different hat. That was on me. Magnificent. Stunning. This trophy is everything I desire. On the shelf in my living room. Of course, <laughs> this big trophy is just a plastic replica. The actual trophy is really tiny. Oh my, oh my, what is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? Oh no, it's just a little girl. Hello. Oh wait, you're not a penguin. Oh, that's good. I could use some non-penguin company around here. Here's the biz. I need your help. I'm on a terrible losing streak, and I just have to win this next annual Bird Movie Award. There's no doubt I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. Thank you. We need to give you a bird passport, darling. Step right over here. The most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. Um, I'm you not tall to enough to take a picture stunning. here. Step. Okay, put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't. See how the picture turned out. Oh. Darling, you're not very photogenic, huh? Oh, gee, come on now. Be nice. We've got to fix this ugly mug shot up with some old fashioned photo doctoring. Here, take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish, fashionable young lady. Uh, oh. Huh? You know what? This is probably as good as I'm gonna get. Perfect! Let's slide this picture into your passport and here you go! One passport for you. Legally a bird now, I think. Wonderful, darling. They call oh, me Jess. Just wonderful. Meet me at the movie set tomorrow, and we'll make you a star. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, you can't just jump in and fiddle with the annual bird movie awards. That's fraud. Fraud. Hey, everyone. We've got a fraudster over here! Oh. Where are my owl 
owl guards at? <sighs> Why are the owls so darn useless? Uh, all right, listen here, lass. You're in big trouble. If you're helping crooked DJ Grooves ring the awards, crooked. and I can't take you to jail, then you're got to help me even the score. That's right. You're got to be the star of my movies, too. Really? Hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie set tomorrow. You got that? Don't be late. Thank you. This is so Mario inspired. I'm guessing I probably need like... I was about to say 80, but 80 seems like a lot at the pace things are going. Probably 40 to finish. Talk to the cat. What a lovely spaceship you have here. Sorry for the breaking and entering. I just really wanted to see what an alien spaceship is like. You know, I expected aliens to be more green and probably with a thirst for flesh. But I guess you aliens come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Hey, if you're looking to explore our planet, you'll need to understand it first. Otherwise, you won't know if you're stepping on grass or quicksand. Don't know how to identify relics? Fear now. Cook and Cat is here. I'll let you have this burger cushion relic for free. Oh. Did have the bottom of the burger. Yes. You can identify this relic at the podium. If you place them on the podium in the correct order, you might be able to make sense of it. If you're able to identify a relic, something great might happen. You never know. So keep an eye out for relics. I've taught you everything I know about relics. Let's go to the podium. I'm assuming she meant this podium, but... Did I get an additional level? Hot stuff popping off right here. Bust open the big safe. Interesting nearby. How did it finish drying that? Mm. Okay. I'm not even going to question what my dryer's thinking right now. But. They talked about a, um, 
big vault of some sort. Don't know where that is. Probably like straight ahead of, like straight in front of me or something, but I don't remember seeing anything. Let me get this trinket. Brewing yarn. Okay. This is pretty big, actually. Okay, that was just weird. Felt like I just clipped through everything. Not mean to. Darn it. Time rift. Mafia of cooks. Is there more to this than the one little collectible right there? Kind of weird. Hello, little child. This is Mafia Time Rift. Timepiece hit Mafia in head, and now Time Rift filled with Mafia thoughts and dreams. This Time Rift is simple. Simple like Mafia, just how Mafia like it. Rules of Time Rift. If you die, you start over. Okay. You need Rift Pawns to go deeper. I don't think I got Rift Pawns. That is all the rules. Please, tread carefully in Mafia Time Rift. Mafia like to experience past. Heading down? Here. So the Mafia here are non-aggressive, which is nice to know. Well, not all of them. Select Mafia are non-aggressive. Yeah, it would be nice if there was some type of indicator which Mafia I need to worry about. Thank you. 
Okay. Now we're just missing one somewhere. Has little girl noticed that unspent wreath pawns are kept each floor? No need to get every single pawn. Good luck! Mafia has opened entrance to next floor for you. This one looks a little interesting at least. Still missing a puzzle piece though, which kind of bothers me because I feel like I should have found it by now. be behind here. Gotta believe. Nope. Where could it have been? Assuming this is the last one. Okay, good. It's not. So we might be able to find something on this floor. place goes on for. Oh, there's my answer. been. New player, new hat, new color. New remix. New color. Oh, crap. I should have claimed the other ones. I wasn't paying attention. I was just hitting A. I thought I was going to have to line them up Super Mario 3 style. back here we can go back to the other place what time is it i think i'm gonna stream i think it's gonna be a shorter stream tonight i'm probably only gonna go for about two hours battle of the birds and Let's try to get to the finale of Battle of the Birds. That's Act 3, Act 2. Murder on the Owl Express. I'm gonna get something to drink while this loads. Definitely takes a little while.
Welcome back, lassie. Well, I haven't written the script for my next movie yet, so we're not recording. I'll call for you when the script is ready. Hello, fellow Express Owl. Do oh, these are really cool security? designs. I care about security a whole lot. You should not be going around telling information to strangers. It could be a security risk. I can help your daily life become more secure. What is your favorite combination of letters and numbers? Okay. Um, A, B, C, one, two, three. And just because they're gonna ask for a special character. I see, I see. <laughs> is also my favorite combination of letters and numbers. Why, hello there, fellow owl. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. As you can tell, I am also an express owl. I do much hooting. From one owl to another, we can share details, yes? What is your uncle's sister's maiden name? Uh, Karen. Definitely Karen. Oh, it is. I see, I see. This is the kind of uncle's sister's maiden name I would expect from a fellow express owl. Did you notice that there's suddenly a lot of crows on this train? They all gone on at the last stop. Speaking of, at which stop did you get on the train? What do you mean you fell from the sky? Did you know that having a pet helps improve self confidence Oh my gosh. And what stress? was your the name of your first pet? Did you also know that pets can have pets? It is true. Unfortunately, us express owls are not allowed to have pets. It is a sacrifice we must make in the name of hooting. But if you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? Definitely Yoshi. <laughs> is certainly an interesting name for a pet, even for a pet's pet. Have you noticed all these crows around the place? They keep asking for personal details, and I never know what to answer. Oh, hello, fellow Express Owl. I am stuck on an advanced mathematical and scientific issue. Okay. Do you see this advanced formula on the black Oh. Uh, can you decipher the scientific formula for me? What yes. does it say? So, funny story. I'm going to take a little, like, two minute aside. I was trying to help my grandmother set up a um, Echo. And it got to the point where, like, she had an Amazon account, and, like, all you got to do is log into your Amazon account. And we literally spent roughly four hours between two days trying to get her signed in just because, like, she would start putting her password in the email field. She would leave off the .com part of her email. Then, eventually, she finally signed in with the correct username and password. But then they're like, sign in again, but do this. And oh my God, she failed these things like 30 times in a row. Unbelievable. Oops. I see. The solution is... It was obvious. Thank you, fellow Express Owl. And thank you for agreeing to the terms and conditions on the backside of the blackboard. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, this game is pretty funny. I don't get it. How is this a scientific equation of any kind? It's just scrambled numbers and letters like those you see on an online form. It's really difficult to get settled down on this train with these crows crowding the place. 
They keep interviewing me about everything I do. Fellow Express Owl, do you ever wonder what it would be like to be a superhero? The most important feature of a superhero is the name. Every superhero needs an intricate name to their fame. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? If entered on an online form with standardized account identification requirements. Um. I don't have enough characters, so I'm just gonna have to do the other one I don't like using. That I've had to use a couple times. I hate when I have to do it. And if I was really being accurate, it would be Awaken Underscore Cloud, but... That name is great! I can already imagine it. The mighty... <laughs> Savior of Justice. I'll just write your answer down here real quick. Right as he was about to sneeze. I don't know why that's so funny. That they're not actually being like a punchline or anything. Us express owls all have parts of our body we're ashamed of. This is why some owls choose to pluck their feathers. Which body part of yours are you the most ashamed of, fellow Express Owl? Definitely my hair, I'll be honest. Well, my face and my hair, but... Oh, poor Express Owl. You shouldn't be ashamed of your... But you'd better get your... Checked out by a doctor. I read online, it could be a oh, sign geez. of bird flu. So this is a very interesting mission because it's very different than everything else we've done up until this point. Possible to get hurt on this mission? Because they keep giving me heart gems, but. Wait! Don't come in here! I lost my contact lens somewhere. Please don't step on it. I can't move out of the way. I might step on it myself. Go ahead and open this big door right here. What's up, James? How are you doing? How was Sekiro? I've, unfortunately, I'm always at the gym when you stream nowadays, except for on the weekends. I mean, even on the weekends, I'm at the gym when you stream, unfortunately. But here we go. Time to solve crime. Watch out for this tiny detective. Okay, we've got a new hat. James, you can't go from saying doing great to say saying what you did like maybe four or five hours ago was awful. But fun, you're having fun, so okay, great is acceptable in that case. What did you get up to? I'm guessing you're getting close to the castle. If if I had to guess. Jeez, Karen's come to visit. Yeah. I'll probably end up watching some of that VOD either tonight after I finish streaming or tomorrow during work. Gotta be a way I can get up there. Try doing the wall run. There we go.
I'm fighting some dude throwing lightning at me. Genichi. Oh! Yeah, Genichi. Genichi is not to be trifled with. That name is great. I can already imagine it. The mighty. And the fact that he's throwing lightning at you means you got to phase two. I'll just write your answer down here, real quick. Which, to be fair, and I'm not going to say too much about that fight, but phase two is the easier of the two phases. So the fact that you got there means you're going to finish it. And probably sooner rather than later. Gotta be a way I can get up there. Only two times, and one of those times it lasted three seconds. I mean, the fact that you got there, like, that's the thing. Once you get there, you've gotten there, and you're going to keep getting there. What do you have to see for yourself? Ooh, you're giving me the quaint treatment, eh? That's what a murderer would do. Leave this case to us. We're Kaw, the Crow Agent Watch. We've been monitoring everyone on this train since the last station. So the writing in this game has been pretty good so far, I'm not gonna lie. We're searching the entire train for evidence. No one is allowed to go outside of this wagon. What? I can't even walk around in my own train! Oh, how dare ya! Once the clock hits midnight, We'll get off at the station with the murderer in cuffs. Stay here you say so. while we investigate further. That wasn't directed towards you, it was directed towards the crows, just just for clarity's sake. I'll see you when you're when you're back. Oh, those car picnics can't tell me what to do. Jesus. If you read that in line with the last message in in chat. That sounded extremely passive aggressive. Oh my god. So what am I supposed to do here? Okay, it's another stealth sequence. Another stealth sequence in this game. Gotcha. Okay, the conductor is a suspect. Welcome back. So, funny story, James. As you type BRB, these crows that were talking on screen said something about like i can't even remember what they were saying but i'm like yeah sure you will and it really did sound like i was commenting on your B brb and i was like oh my god it sounds so freaking passive aggressive what i just said but I'm trying to go in the other way but my day's been okay it's um i don't know they gave me a problem at work. I'm not very confident I'll be able to figure out. Like, it's just such a niche thing that they're asking for. So that was kind of stressful. I stayed up later than I should have yesterday, which is my own fault. So I kind of, I'm kind of running on fumes, to be honest. But um, aside from those two things, oh my gosh, no. I just got good at video games. I 
I got a key, but what's the key? Oh, that door I didn't know how to get through a second ago. over there. Is the stream dropping frames on your end? Uh, so... Let me check real quick. It like I have my phone streaming the stream, and it looks good, but let me. It says I have zero drop frames. Is my camera acting weird? Is it my camera specifically, or is it the game? Because the. Camera, I might be able to fix. Well, I can't really fix it, but I can change cameras. On my end, then. Okay. Well, let me know if it keeps up. That's kind of strange. Also, did I just... I thought I glitched through a wall for a second. Found out what? Uh oh. Is your kid toggling your internet now? Pros are now available suspects. It's all good. <laughs> Had two games to open at the same time. Oh. That'll definitely do it. jump let's go but yeah man i miss some um, silence and mimi streams hopefully they get back soon because it's just a really good time for i feel like a lot of people like during the workday and a lot of us aren't you know able to stream during the workday but since they're in a different time zone What's the point of this springy thing right here? I'm missing a key. Where the heck would it be? Apparently Alex is going to stop. Oh man. Just, I guess he got busy, which is understandable. I mean, streaming is a lot of work and it is a big commitment on top of that. Oh. Sekiro is just too much, man. He saw everybody else streaming Sekiro and he knew he was supposed to, so. Oh. I'm genuinely running out of ideas of what I'm supposed to do right here. I guess I can go back out this door and maybe go through there? But he's looking straight at it. Didn't think that was gonna work. Did 
there might be another door I can access. Let me try that. Well, that was fair. Literally takes two steps in one direction. Gets caught. doesn't feel like the right direction to go, but kind of out of ideas. Also, I only have one health. This is bad. This is very bad. Right as he was about to sneeze. <laughs> I thought after Hollow Knight, Sekiro would still be hard, but not the hardest thing I've played. I have no idea. But you're doing so good. Like, the fact that you got to Genichiro in, what, three or four streams is kind of insane in my opinion. And the fact that you got past, like, Madden Butterfly and um, the other dude relatively quick. No, 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 no. Get my evidence and get out of here. Gotcha. All right, Karen is a suspect. I think I know who my prime suspect is. Oh, that's a really good fake Metal Gear Solid screen. That's the OG. Oh, so I haven't gone back to but okay. Well, you always have that option. <laughs> yeah, you truly have a Sophie's Choice type of situation right now between um Genichiro and Butterfly. That being said, I feel like most people tackle Butterfly before Genichiro. Butterfly is just incredibly fun to fight. Like, if I'm just warming up my hands for video games, I have Sekiro installed just at all times. And they have a little, like, it's not a boss rush, but you can, like, replay certain fights. And I'll just go into the Butterfly fight. That's kind of like my warm-up, so to speak. My game warm-up. <laughs> Got the key. Just gotta make it back up to the top of here. But man, I was stuck on Butterfly for a good minute when I first got to it. Probably took me about two ish hours to beat her. There's one boss you haven't gotten to that took me prop. Probably about five hours if I had to guess. But a lot of people don't think he's that bad. And that's kind of the weird thing about Sekiro. Everybody has their own like, I don't know, white whale of sorts where they just get stuck and everybody else is like, oh, that's not really that hard of a boss. But for me, me. 
That boss took me forever. Sorry for the delay, but I know how much... But you know how much I like passing out on your streams. How's Among Us? Where am I going? running out of time to solve this mystery. <laughs> that one's not activated yet. I had one of my greatest wins ever. Wow, what a monster. Odd coincidence, I'm not really a fan of dogs, so I'm willing to let that picture of the dog just go in there without second thoughts. Killed 11 and pulled it off. How did you kill? How many people can be in an Among Us match? Jeez. I thought the limit was 10. Wow. Easy. Okay. Well, I lowered the dog. Random Al. 15, 13 imposters first. One voted off before anyone even died because they were terrible. Jeez. So, that means you literally killed all but one eligible, like, regular person. Second got voted voted off after their first kill, which left me the other. T Jeez. And you were able to kill all ten of them. Like, at some point, doesn't it just end or whatever if you kill enough people? Whatever hat I need to do these platforms right here, I need to find it. Now I'm gonna have to backtrack. That sucks. The little girl they had no idea it was me. <laughs> well, hopefully you clipped it, because I would love to see, well, the thing about clips is you can't have a clip that long. If you had stream archives on, then I could relive the experience, but sadly you do not. So, this game is called A Hat in Time. 
it's um kind of a banjo kazooie s 3d platformer with a lot of different i don't know like elements to it the platforming isn't quite as good as i had hoped but it makes up for it in atmosphere and story so i'm still definitely enjoying it i wish the platforming was a little bit better but there's still a lot going on in this game okay so he's guarding that exit i have a key there are two doors i don't think i can do anything if i go down here but oh i'm an idiot never mind so this is my first stream playing and I've been going for a little bit under two hours, probably about, I'd say nine, I suck. Somewhere between 90 minutes and two hours. Gotcha. Trunks, I am super excited to see you eventually stream that game I gifted you. No rush, but... Um, the reason I did was it was a game I had recommended to you like a long time ago. And that game, I think it came out in like 2015 or something like that. Like, it's been out for a good minute. But out of nowhere, the devs just announced like, hey, we're doing an update and it's going to be some cool stuff. So... If I was to rate it, it, I'd probably give it like a seven-ish right now, which isn't bad, like. There's just a lot of small things here and there that keep it from being great in my opinion, but I'm still enjoying my time with it. Yes, it's not an easy game. It's 100% like, up your difficulty alley. Okay. Let's try to go over there, I guess. Kind of running out of options. Are you kidding me? James getting in on Among Us. James, do you one have Discord and two are you part of Trunks' Discord? And Trunks, have you created that Discord command? <laughs> I'm gonna keep hounding you until you do. Okay, so Trunks has a Discord. Trunks and um, his good friend Aria, and it's pretty good. I would recommend you join it. Oh snap, I'm a suspect. Everybody's a suspect. Okay, so I have not. Trunks, you know how to do it. I sat down with you and show you, showed you how to do it. We don't know. Uh, we couldn't find any conclusive evidence. We have no idea who murdered this owl. What? So you've got Pickle to solve the case? Who's the murderer? Which one are you dead at? Um... This is kind of weird because, aside from having a picture, I can't really frame anybody. Like, for real.
I'm gonna blade myself and see what happens. You did it! Why, yes! It all makes sense! You saw the Express Owl all by himself. A lonely victim in your master scheme. With a hatred for society and its rapidly oh, increasing progress of transportation, you strike down the first passenger you saw. His Absolutely. Blade played like a mannequin with blood spilling everywhere and a smell. It woke your inner She demons. does look like a little bit of a psychopath, I'm not going to lie. Then you tore off his limbs and oh, geez. One by one, like an animal lusting for blood. So, objection, his limbs are still on the body. That's how it happened, wasn't it? You murdered that owl in cold blood. Actually, I'm fine. She just stuck this fake rubber knife on me and told me to play dead. Um, how are there two ends to the fake rubber knife? Still, you've gone too far this time, detective. You're going to the doghouse. Uh oh. Well, thanks for solving the murder, lassie. Not only did you reveal the murderer, you also revealed that the victim was never harmed. And you gave us intense footage for the movie. Oh, you think I'd let a murder happen on my Owl Express? Oh, think again. That was all just a setup for my newest Owl Express movie. Murder on the Owl Express. Oh, you think DJ Picnic will make a movie that's even remotely as good? Ha! I think not. Here, take this thing of a jig and get out of here. Nice. That was a long mission. I was thinking I was. There was three missions on the map, and I'm like, oh yeah, I can get through all three before I end stream. But that was like a 30 minute mission by itself. DJ Pecnic. This game's pretty fourth wall breaking trunks. So essentially the conductor and this DJ are having this feud because they're both um, movie directors and they're going for the bird equivalent of an Emmy. So they've just been beefing this entire time. DJ food. Let's do, we can do at least one more. Maybe two more. Okay. Picture Perfect, starring DJ Grooves, Little Girl, Moon Penguins. I feel like Aria would probably really, really enjoy this game. Welcome to the first day of shooting, darling. We need to transform you into the biggest movie star the bird world has ever seen. You need to become a diva. Uh-oh. That's why I've called for a press conference here on our moon set. A you press conference. Get out there in front of the cameras and electrify the public, darling. Uh -oh. Get them really up and going for your movies. I'm about to get canceled. Once you've got them going crazy, come back here and we'll show off our new prop. That's right. We'll unveil our new movie prop to the masses. Pretty much, Trunks. I am 100% caught in this weird feud between this. Elvis penguin thing and a conductor owl who doesn't really look like an owl in my opinion, but he is. Okay, so what do I gotta do? Oh, hi there. Let's 
gotta get an entourage. How many followers do I need? I'm at 27. What it Some of these jumps are very questionable. Killing an, a UFO should up my fans. Maybe I'm just easy to please. I don't know. Get over here. It's like half Mario Galaxy and half Mario Odyssey. Public loves aliens. <laughs> oh, what's up, Raider? How you doing tonight? Uh oh, oh my gosh, you got some wings. That sounds so good. Man, I had wings two nights ago. Two nights ago, because I had pizza last night. Normally, I don't eat as bad as. It sounds like I'm eating right now, but yeah, the past couple nights I've just been having a couple cravings. Wow. Thanks. Agreed. Wings are probably like a top 10 food for me. And saying top 10 in this context. Pretty darn good. Not everything I sell is of value. I also sell terrible badges. And yet, people buy them anyway. But how are you doing today? No more bonking against walls while diving. You die in one hit, only for the brave. Gonna hold off on all of those. Just go swing your Buster Sword around, punch of a bunch of to work off the pizza. I mean, I am in the gym a lot, man. Like. I probably Feels burned off most of that pizza here after all these years. over the past two days. But that darn Steve from work sent me a postcard from the sun. He says it's great. I can't believe that guy always trying to one up me. I'm doing pretty good, man. Um, a little fatigued from yesterday. Um, I stayed up way past my bedtime playing with you and stars on um. The vampire game. It was a lot of fun. 
and it was definitely worth it, but I did pay a price for it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was fun and it was also really weird. I did not expect that chat to get as cursed as it did. Like, the chat keeps topping itself in a way that I just don't expect. Better yet. Do the Shinra special move where you swing it over your head. Oh. The, do, 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 do. the one you have to do for the pose. Like it's endorsement time. Uh oh. All you penguins out there know my name, DJ Grooves, and I'm telling you, this young girl here is the next hot thing. So, Wade, you're gonna appreciate this. Um, in this game, this world that I'm in, there's a battle between a DJ penguin and a conductor, like owl or something. So, this entire thing, this entire world is themed around birds so they're like hey you need to make a bird profile i'm like just call me jess just look if you know you know this statue and rescue the poor puppy that has gotten stuck that is a definitely inside joke right there but what's up wookie great i'm headed to work but wanted to pop in thank you thank you i hope chrono cross has been going well i haven't been able to actually um tune into too many of those partly because I want to play that game soon but I'm hoping you're enjoying it oh this is Danish developed did not know that genuinely huh. Man. I got a big thanks to all the homies for just stopping by tonight over here Call, darling. looks like it's endorsement time everyone is here all you penguins out there know my name DJ Grooves and I'm telling you this young girl here is the next hot thing guaranteed Look at how let's go get my endorsements TV. up She's standing in this sinister alleyway right next to some potential wrongdoers uh oh am I gonna have to fight Let's go. Her middle name, and she's not afraid to step outside of her comfort zone. Make sure you join her fan club, DJ Grooves. Oh. I thought I was gonna have to fight them. About to save the planet, got us. <laughs> All right. Going on over here. Call, darling. Looks like it's endorsement time. Is it poker? All you penguins out there know my name, DJ Grooves. And I'm next level you, got my favorite track in the game. Oh, is the next hot thing guaranteed. The music's been really good. The music and the writing, especially, have been very good. Watch as she beats these hard-boiled card players at their own game. On her first try. Uh oh. This game is easy to understand. Hope this darling. isn't an actual mini game right here. Which <laughs> number of card the other player is holding from one to ten? Which card do you think he's holding, darling? Uh. Seven. Seven's a lucky number, right? Wow! Fantastic! Incredible! The answer is indeed three. Wow, okay, I didn't know they were actually... I, I thought that was just like a, what's called, overlay? For the... 
I'm not gonna defend myself. I don't need to defend myself on my own stream. Screw you. <laughs> Nobody even came after me, but I feel like I had to get super defensive right there. Wow, I'm dumb. I am so dumb. Come over here and show up our new stunner. Oh. Okay. Oh. I want to know what that shiny thing is down there. And then we can go for the actual thing we want. Hmm. The voice of the penguin. I can't say I do, at least. You guessed wrong <laughs> and gained a million followers. I mean, pretty much. Ugh. Oh, snap. DJ Penguin's ahead. Not by much. 32. Well, no, 22. <laughs> Oh, interesting. I know who that is. I watched the abridged. And it does, now that you mention it, he does sound exactly like Ferret's VA in that. Like, they did not change that voice one bit. <laughs> Let's do this finale thing. And then I think we're gonna call it, what time is it? Ooh, my phone's also at 8%. Let's see if we even last for the finale. Oh, I don't even have access to it, darn. Well, it is what it is. We're not gonna get there tonight. And I think this is where we're actually gonna call it. I want to get a little bit of piano practice in, trying to, what's it called, diversify my hobbies. So, always try to put a little bit of piano time in when I can. So, Trunks, funny enough, my phone is on a charger. It is on a charger, you guys are coming at me. It's draining so much, like, being my webcam, that it literally drains faster than it charges. I started at like 30%, it's down to eight. But we're going to call it, I'm going to see who's streaming real quick. And thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you, Raider. Thank you, Wookie. Thank you, PBJ for the lurk. Trunks, obviously, James. If I miss anybody, please, um, please come at me. You can just directly DM me and just say, I hate you. Why are you so not thoughtful? Not thoughtful. Why are you so just dumb? You can say that. I'll, I'll allow it. But let's see, we're gonna go ahead and stream Murdoch. We're gonna go ahead and raid Murdoch. He's playing Little Nightmares, which is a fun game from what I've seen. I haven't actually played it, but definitely seems like something up my alley. But he's definitely one of the homies. If you want, just throw a random assortment of materia and he'll know exactly what it means. I'll see you guys. Let me make sure I read all these messages before I close out. The true renaissance, man. All right, take it easy, guys. <laughs>